All right, so we already reviewed the venerable HK MP5 SD, but how about the Bruiser and Tomet, the SPC9 PDW SD? That's a mouthful. Let's check it out. All right, so I seriously think I need to start calling this the BNT channel, <laughs> but anyway. So there's not many videos on the SPC9 PDW SD. This is very similar to the HK, the MP5 SD in that it does have a ported barrel system that will actually reduce 115 and 124 grain bullets to that subsonic range. It does also have a ported suppressor. I'll show you an up close of that and then I'll also show you the suppressor because it has a very unique design. Rather than being a constant taper like you would see on the MP5 SD, it has this over the barrel system on what looks to be about a four and a half inch barrel. And what this does, it reduces that supersonic nine millimeter down to subsonic ranges. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say it's gonna be extremely difficult for this to beat the HK MP5 SD. Um, like I said, it's, it's a great system, but it's just a much smaller can. Some of the other things you're going to notice, you might make fun of the iron sights on here or the plastic sights. These are BNTs off of another BNT unit, but I can't run it up here because this has a dual charging system. It does have an AR style charging handle, very similar to what you're already used to, but it still has the APC 9 or the 9K charging handle here that folds. The only problem is, is even though this is a BNT iron sight, if I mount it up here, this gets in the way and you can't charge it. So I'm just gonna use a shorter sight radius. As far as the controls, the lower is just like an APC 9K. They're very similar to AR controls, so it's gonna be very intuitive to using this platform. And so you'll also notice it does have a buffer tube system back here. So there is a short buffer tube in the PDW. Uh, normally this comes in not even a brace configuration, but just a short configuration like what it is. However, this one does have a stock. So as you guys might have guessed, this is actually not just a regular SPC9 PDW SD. This is actually a machine gun and we're gonna shoot it here. I don't know of any other reviews that are out there on this one in a machine gun configuration. What I want to do is compare and contrast it to the MP5 SD, see how well it does. We'll shoot irons on irons. I did not bring a dot for this one, so I will have a shorter sight radius, but I'm not going to make any excuses. Let's just get this thing done. All right, so today's ammunition is the Bellum 9x19. Big shout out to Global Ordnance for providing the ammunition for this evaluation. Without these guys and without their support, I wouldn't be able to do it. And you can buy this ammunition directly from them online at some really great prices. So definitely check out Global Ordnance. All right, so I do want to know which one's quieter. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot these back to back. We are shooting the Bellum ammunition. I'm just going to shoot five rounds into the dirt with the MP5 SD to set the standard. So here we go. And let me switch over to the SPC. All right, so same exact ammunition. We'll see how this sounds. All right, they made a good attempt at it, but this is nowhere near as quiet as the MP5 SD. It is very effective and it does reduce it to a subsonic velocity or right there at that razor edge. I will give it the trigger. The trigger is a hundred times better than the HK. And for all you HK fanboys out there, I'm a fanboy too, but I'm sorry, this is a better trigger. This trigger actually feels great. And another thing I really like, it has the very familiar AR controls. So you could actually hand this to someone else and not even tell them much about it, and it's already gonna be set up just like a standard AR. You have your charging handle, you have your bolt hold, which is ambidextrous as far as your mag release. You can pull straight down on this or hit it on the other side. You do have to slide it rather than push it in like you do on an AR. I'm really kind of wondering why they had the redundancy here with the charging handle. I guess you could put it on the other side, but that might be one of those things it'd be better just to take it out and omit it and just have the standard AR control. Um, Either way, let's see how it does in accuracy because it definitely didn't win out any points with regards to quietness. It does well, but it's definitely not as effective as the MP5 SD. All right, so standard 20 yards zero. We're gonna check it out and we're gonna check it on the left target. So MP5, we're gonna go irons and here we go.
Okay, so not bad at all held everything within that first set of rings or so. Let's try the BNT. All right, so remember we are checking for groups here. We are not looking for where it's located because I don't know if this thing's on. And also it has a very fat front sight and have a shorter sight radius, but should be close enough to at least get us on the paper. All right, so visually I can tell it outshoots the MP5. That trigger makes all the difference in the world. Very, very nice trigger. Um, you know what, I'm gonna have you guys play along with me here. All right, so we are clear. So here we go. So you guys can see it in the light. We have a two-stage trigger and it fires. Very short, crisp reset and again very very nice so uh let me go ahead and load this up we're done with the mp5 sd we know it beats it with regards to being quiet doesn't beat it with regards to accuracy but like i said these are little sub guns anyway but let's go ahead and start shooting some steals with this all right standard 10 yard test here we go two to the body one to the head two to the body one to the head very very lightweight very light compared to the the H and K. Yeah, very, very controllable, even with the height over board, no problems at all, keeping everything where they needed to be. Let's uh let's just check it on. Let's see if it even runs. And that's it. Last round bolt hold, something you don't have with the MP5 SD. Let's shoot it some more. All right, so what we're going to do now is some full auto bursts, and we'll just start it off up here close. Yeah, this thing is super, super controllable, super soft, and I really like what they've done with it. It's just... It's very expensive. It is very, very expensive. And you know, you're know, you looking at something that you don't have to spend the extra money or anything like that on the, super, the subsonic ammunition. The trigger is outstanding. The controls are great, but I like it. I do like it. Uh, I just don't know if I would have this over, let's say an APC-9K or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that review of the Bruiser and Tomet. The SPC9 PDW SD. Hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.